everybody my name is Annie and this is Annie's Arachnids. Now on today's video I am going to be doing a care and husbandry on the Talitacattle Alba Pelosis. But before we start the video please do not forget to like, comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you want to see more of me hit the notification bell for more videos. So now that is all out of the way, let's get in to the care and husbandry. So this is my female Talitacattle Alba Polosis Nicaragua. I hope I said that right. I apologise if I haven't. <laughs> Commonly known as the curly hair tarantula. Now, these can be found in Costa Rica, Nicaragua and Honduras. I hope I said that right. I apologise. Now this... One that I have here is a true hobby form and the Hondreas is just a hobby form which I will put a picture up there we do have one in the collection but unfortunately is very comfortable in its hide and obviously do not want to bother her at all so females can live up to a whopping 20 to 25 years where males can only live up to five to ten years now I like to feed them once a week my adults with jubia roaches but I do tend to feed them superworms crickets and locusts from time to time now they are a terrestrial new world tarantula and they have type 1 and three urticating hairs which when they get defensive they will flick and it kind of travels in the air and it can just land on your skin and it will get very irritable i know that i get very itchy and sometimes get red blotches uh, i mean if you're allergic to it then obviously the symptoms are a little bit greater but i have not come across anyone who is so that's good <laughs> so temperatures i like to keep between 18 to 24 as you can see they do like it quite dry now she is a great beginner's pet and very docile they are very docile but just because mine from my experience and from what other people have said to me just because they say and i'm letting you know that this one's docile doesn't mean they are technically are I have had people saying that mine is not so docile sometimes it has you know their temperament might change and that could be the case so please be careful and just make sure you keep yourself safe and the tragedy safe now they are slow growers and as you can see mine is always sitting at the water dish and she has been in pre-malt i believe she's in pre-malt because sometimes she tends to just go off her food um she'll a couple of months she will not have anything and then after a, after a month or two she will decide to eat but i believe she's in pre-malt because it's been about eight to nine months and she hasn't eaten so that's why i always keep a water dish by her side now I do know that some of you might know that you do get moisture or they do get moisture from their food but when they pre malt for a long time and they're not eating they need a water source from somewhere and that is why you should always have a water dish there because believe it or not half the times we might not see them they do drink and i've seen it myself she's drunk now and again where i catch her drinking it doesn't mean she don't drink it's just that we just don't see them drinking but as you can see i've put a worm in there because one i believe she's in prima and when she is she's very slow and as you can see she looks very lethargic and just very slow pacing because i do believe she's in prima or she's just having a, a fasting month and she's just gone off food and that's why i've put the worm in there because only not only that it's a far it's a slow it, worms are quite slow and all they do is burrow 
where the roaches are a lot more faster and some of the crickets and that she can take her time into getting the worm so as you can see she looks interested but not quite and she's been like that for eight to nine months so and she's been sitting at that water dish for a while now so either she's getting herself to molt which i've seen which will be her third or fourth time now but i like to monitor when she's like this because if she does tend to flip on her back then that worm if that worm is still in there and burrowed it will eat her while she's molting so that's why i like to see what is going on and see if she does take it how what she's like what's her temperament like is she interested do i need to leave it in there for another few minutes so it's very uh, important to observe and judge what's going on so she doesn't seem absolutely interested even though she kind of taps on it and plays with it a little bit she seems like she's given some sort of interest but after a while she will walk away I mean you won't see it because I've just cut it out but she walks away from it and then I have to take it out when it burrows as you can see I'll show you right now so oh no I won't show you right now because it hasn't come to that bit <laughs> but no she does walk away from it honest she does but she is absolutely stunning absolutely I love her so much I um, with a little backstory just quickly um, so Robbie from Robbie's talking to tea uh, was talking to this guy who actually um, brought her back from holiday and not just one but two of them which were two females but the girlfriend did not like it so he decided to sell it which Rob found Robbie from Robbie's Talk Tea found in the gum tree and he decided to buy it. So it was only £10. It was in a big plastic enclosure and it had plenty of space. There was a water dish in there and a bit of substrate. There she is. That was the point where she kind of just walked away because she wasn't interested. So that that's that but anyways he bought um it was in a simple setup it had all the requirements that it needed so it was absolutely fine but then later and we got that for 10 pounds but then later um robbie got an email saying oh the second one we don't want the second one so can you just take it for a fiver and this was in a glass enclosure and uh, in a proper enclosure and he sold it for us for five pounds so then i got this and then he got the other one so we had one each so he gave me this one but 15 pounds with enclosure and everything i thought that was a bargain but um we didn't know what he was going to do with it if he couldn't find a buyer and he needed one really fast and he was local so we decided to take it but absolute bargain these two were 15 pounds we had two we've got two in the hobby sorry we still have angel this one's baby this one's mine so yeah but imagine bringing two of them home and then all of a sudden not knowing that you can't have them so yeah so he was a bit of a naughty boy we did not know till later that was the backstory of it but the girlfriend was not keen whatsoever did not want it in the house and thought well I'll keep one maybe she'll be all right with that one but no she wasn't okay with that one either I don't know why he thought it would be okay if one was gone and the other one was there if she don't like them she don't like them <laughs> but we were lucky enough to have them we were very lucky so yeah absolute beauty but yeah a little bit of backstory if you want one of these definitely get one i think these guys are underrated so please go and get one 
So we have come to the end of my video, unfortunately. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you do, please don't forget to like and comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm hoping that this will help you if you decide to get one of these in your collection. I do actually think they are underrated tarantulas. I really do. But I am coming to the end of my channel. But before I leave you, I would like to let you guys know that I am going to be doing a competition next week, Monday. So make sure you watch all the way to the end, to the outros, and I'll explain to you how you can win two amazing slings. My name is Annie, and you have just been watching Annie's Arachnids.